So how do you calculate the quadratic formula? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years now. And the quadratic formula is one of the most fundamental formulas that you will ever learn. So I highly recommend you go over it as much as possible. So here's a brief lesson on how it came about. First of all, you may have seen that a quadratic equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. If you notice, every term is on one side and zero is on the other side. And notice a is the number right next to the x squared, b is the number next to the x, and c is simply the number with no x term. So c is known as the constant. But everything's over to one side and zero is on the other side. And to solve it, to get x by itself, this quadratic formula came about. It's negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all that over 2a. Now, here's an example as to how you solve this particular equation using this formula. Now, suppose you have x squared plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. As long as you identify your a's, b's, and c's, you'll be good to go. Now, because there's no number in front of the x squared. You can always assume that a is equal to 1. b, the number next to the x, is positive 2. And c is negative 3. What you need to do is plug in everywhere you see a, you plug in 1. Everywhere you see b, plug in 2. Everywhere you see c, negative 3. So this is what the formula looks like. x is equal to negative b, so you have negative 2, plus or minus square root of 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 3, all that over 2 times a is 1. The hardest part about this problem is simplifying everything inside the radical. So you have negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12 over 2. Now, 4 plus 12 is going to give you 16, so you have negative 12 plus or minus square root of 16, all that over 2. Now, square root of 16 is indeed 4, so up here you now have negative 2 plus or minus 4 over 2. Now this has two answers. You need to break them up as two separate solutions, but once you have them, you've solved the equation. I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you calculate the quadratic formula.